All right. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Brian, you still there? Mm-hmm. Good. You know, um, I wanted to do... I expected this to be, you know, a nice 30 to 60 minute conversation. And it's going to end up being, what, three to four hours? Maybe three, three and a half. I was originally wanting to do, uh, like, maybe three or four three-hour shows with Chris and Clayton. That's probably going to end up being, like, 12 three-hour shows <laughs> at that rate. But anyway, we're here talking about uh, nicknames, as you remember. And, of course, as we left, when we left off, Derek asked if anyone had any nicknames that uh, really annoyed them. And that makes me think that maybe Derek was called something that he didn't like very much. Well, it was only it's only been one, uh, and it was uh, from your wife. <laughs> it was it was Lil, Lil Bro. That's what it was. Lil Bro. Lil Bro. I uh, yeah, it bothered me. I don't know why it bothered me so much. Oh, I have another one, and it's from your wife too. <laughs> when she calls somebody, hey you. That's what they called people on Friends. Hey, you. It was endearing. <sighs> I Rachel, can't... the word I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel would say that to Ross. Of course. Exactly, but they were, like, in love with each other, so, I mean, it's, I mean... Is that a lovey phrase, or is it just kind of generally annoying? What do you think? Hey, you, I mean, it could mean anything. I mean, Cindy could say that to you, you, and she could say to... It, it, Vicky, you know, it can mean exactly the same thing. I, I don't... It just means nothing to me. You don't like Getting it Getting back all. to home improvements, I believe Jill's father would always call Tim, hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was a running gag. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, and, and Lil Bro is just, you know, very... I, it just... It's degrading, almost. It's like saying, I'm older than you, so I'm superior to you. I'm just going to call you Lil Bro. I don't I don't get it. Well, I just don't like the word Lil at all. Lil at all. It's hard to say. It's, it's yeah. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Who, by the way, has... Maybe she called me very li- unpleasant Lil voice. Bro. I, I didn't like it. That just, you say it fast, it sounds like Lil, but I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Derek? But, you know, I have been called, you know, D-Rock. I guess that's a reference to the movie Zoolander. Because <laughs> Derek Zoolander was called D-Rock. Ben Stiller's character was called D-Rock by Owen Derek Wilson. Zoolander. Uh, and, um, what else? D-Rec. I've, you know, it's just basically, you know, the... That's almost, that's almost J-Lo. It's it's people start giving you nicknames just Demar to, just Demar no hey Demar Koo. that actually <laughs> did and that actually happened in, with Brian Oster's <laughs> in gym class what people were doing was uh, they were putting the first initial of their first name dot and then their their full last name so I would put D and then Marcus but there wasn't enough room left over. <laughs> in the square for the S. So I'm like, where am I going to put the S? And then uh, Brian Oster's just like, we're going to have to call you D. Marcoux. <laughs> and that took off in a way that I had absolutely <laughs> no way it would. I mean, that was, people called me that throughout uh, all of high school. And my bowling ball, I actually had it printed D. Marcoux <laughs> on my bowling ball from uh, high school. So that was that was fun. And interesting and weird. DeMarco. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, drawing a blank. I c- <laughs> but so, I mean, you said that you don't have... Well, Derek, you had a friend, uh, Dan Lancaster. Dan Lancaster. Long-time friend. There have got to be some kind of nickname stories there. Anything at all? <laughs> you know what? I actually don't think so. He called me DeMarco <laughs> because everybody did. <sighs> In bowling, people called him Dan the Man, which is really just stupid. I mean, could you be I Dan mean, the Man Taylor? 
<laughs> you got to be more original than that. Um, I think out of respect for Dan, I didn't give him a nickname out of respect for him. <laughs> because I had, a, I had a nickname that was really stupid, and uh, our other friend Brendan had a nickname that was really stupid. You know, B.O. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, okay, I respect you too much to give you a nickname. You're just Dan. That's all you are. And Brian, uh, you you had one more friend or acquaintance named Nick. Nick Muscari. <laughs> I had no friend or acquaintance with that name. Oh my gosh! Okay. Do you want to say something about a Nick Muscari? <laughs> uh, this this doesn't have anything to do with nicknames, but. Or it, maybe it kind of does, but... Except for the fact that his name is Nick. His name is Nick. Well... But that's more of a play on words. No, but, I mean, he just he had this phase where, you know, if if something bad would happen or if he would screw up or something or, you know, if, if like, I don't know, if anything out of the ordinary happened, you'd just say, it's okay, my name's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Like we in Wisconsin Dells, you know, in downtown Dells is kind of you know cramped with uh, cars, the street. So you know, we went on the youth group trip there. You know, <clears throat> oh, we lost him. Uh oh, uh oh, we lost Brian. Well, you can finish your story. But uh, anyway, so <clears throat> I mean, just 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 things like uh, you know the streets in uh, downtown Dells, you know. You have to be careful and cross, but, you know, he would just take the initiative and just start walking, to, even if, like, a car was coming, but he'd put his hand up and say, it's okay, my name's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, uh, it was, it was the, wow, okay. <laughs> but the, and then, like, if a car, like, ignored him and just passed him right up, he'd be like, my name's Nick! Do you not hear me? My name is Nick. <laughs> I just, it was just the best thing in the world. Is, are you back, Brian? <laughs> Bri? I came back mid-sentence. <laughs> you missed something extremely hilarious, which you're going to have to catch on the podcast You're going to have later. to catch later on, but it just... Oh, my gosh. There was a lot of energy there. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nick. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, good old Nick. Okay. <clears throat> My, <laughs> I think I called him Nick the Prick. <laughs> I would give like in high school. High school was weird because I, <clears throat> I would give you know really kind of degrading nicknames to people, like <laughs> Nick the Prick or you know his name is Nick and he's got a big dick or. <laughs> Uh, but it's just, you know, that was the crowd I hung out with. You know, everyone was cool with that. <clears throat> wow. Big D. Really unplugged today. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh. Brian, didn't you have a uh, person named Nick Carbonero or something like that? Yes. And that's that's someone I was uh, trying to refer to earlier. I mean, he was someone that you knew, right? Mm-hmm. Did he have any Nick names I recall none <laughs> well that's pretty interesting both ways I don't remember him calling me anything ow oh. that's my impression <laughs> of Nick we refer to him in his sounds <laughs> he made in his guitar sounds <laughs> uh, you know Brian I don't know if you have a way of recording this like 30 seconds of it on your computer, but I'd be interested to hear how we sound on your thing. Uh, well, when I was... The first time we ended up getting all messed up with the connection, I tried re recording in Audacity and kind of changing the, you know, the recording inputs, just, you know, trying to see, will any of these work? None of them worked, and then everything stopped working, so I don't want to try that again, but <laughs> okay. I could record it on recorder. It sounds pretty good. Sound recorder? My, just like my phone, yeah, thing that, like, oh, we were okay. using your camera and my phone and comparing them. But that would be about all I could do. Eh, whatever. 
Well, um, then there's the issue of friends, parents, and in-laws, and what we call them, which isn't a nickname thing, really. That's one of those things I don't think I call any of my friends' parents anything. I just Why don't. would you? Yeah, I guess there's no I mean, reason to. You don't even ever talk to them. But your parents, you would think I would call them something. Actually, in small group, last fall, this topic came up. What do you? What's polite and impolite to call your uh, um, your in-laws, basically? And I guess nowadays everyone calls them by their first name. So I should be calling. And I think Dan, you know, Vicky's husband, calls your father and mother Marge and John, right? Right. Yeah. I don't call them anything, but uh, someone in a small group, like our small group leaders, said that their, uh, you know, their daughter-in-law or whatever would call them by their first name, and they were kind of offended by it. They wanted to be called mom and dad. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess the times are a-changing. And that's a topic for a whole other, why people are offended over really stupid things. Yeah, I don't know. but I, I mean, I, I call your mom Bonnie. Yeah, that's true. And I think Cindy calls her Bonnie. I, I I doubt whether she's deeply offended by that. I don't think so. Oh, Mom. Oh, I'm so glad you're here to help us finish the puzzle. I think that'd be a little weird. I don't know. It would be totally weird. I mean, I guess it just depends on how close you are. I mean, I, I see her every now and then. She comes and helps out with Aunt Babe. Well, you wouldn't call her Mom, I don't think. No, right. Be, right, because I'm not, you she's know. Not you. Cindy may... May but I think if Cindy did that, would be kind of strange too. But historically, Cindy would be able to do that. Yeah. But yeah, your dad. I mean, I don't call him John. I don't. I I think I asked him what I should call him, and I we sort I sort of settled on father-in-law, and I think maybe I call him father-in-law. But um, usually I just don't call him anything. To me, I'm very uncomfortable calling anybody older than me by their first name, but where it. Now that I'm technically an adult, I you know I'm not like a student anymore or anything. I am twenty, almost twenty-six. That's officially adult age. Um, and now that I have students with parents, it's always interesting, you know, what to call them because hmm. they're than me. But you know, I'm the an authority figure to their student, just like they are to their child. You know, positionally, so you're of, basically equal to them. Yeah, you know, we're equals. Um, we're all adults, and so we should call each other first name. And, you know, it's either call them Mrs., Mr. and Mrs. something, but that's very formal and kind of weird. Unless they're very formal people, which some of them are, and you can tell that's what they want to be called. Um, but usually I, I call them by their first name, like especially in emails, like, you know, first name, comma, and then, or hi, so-and-so, first name, comma, and then I, that's mm -hmm. how people address p other people in emails. Yeah, that's true. In emails, that's how you do it. And and I'll if I call them something to their face, it's usually their first name, but I just feel uncomfortable doing it, so I try to avoid it whenever hmm. possible. Yeah, and with work, if I have customers, I call them their first name in person if they come. But uh, should we come up with nicknames for everyone just to make things less awkward? I personally, for me personally, that would make things less awkward for me and the other person, I think. Maybe. Um, I feel like I should give... A nickname to Bonnie. I think she's earned it because she's over. She's over, you know, all the time helping out with Aunt Babe and stuff. I guess so. Working on puzzles with us, you know. Your father calls me. I don't know if he calls me this as a name or a more of a title, I guess. But I have the honorable title of son number two. Son. Oh yeah, he gave you. I first heard that. Um, the. Uh, Men's conference. Oh, yeah? That's why I first heard it. Son number one, son number two, son number three. Dan is son number and three. And that's Dan being son number three has nothing to do with him being the least important, but... It's just a chronological thing. Chronological, right. Mm -hmm. He became a son the third time. Well, I'm glad I'm still son number one, okay? That you haven't... You haven't ousted, been demoted. You, you haven't ousted me. I am working on it. <laughs> I'm That's not true at devoting all. a plan. <clears throat> uh, and then grandparents is kind of an interesting one. The G rents. The G rents. And the rents. The, yeah. The that, rents and that's, the G rents. That's you guys. That's you guys. Collectively, we call 
Brian and I call our parents the rents. Yeah. And our grandparents the G rents. <laughs> Which sounds even when I first heard J Lo, I thought that was maybe inappropriate because I don't know, it sounded too cool. Like there must be some gang meaning or drug meaning behind it that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> and G rents almost sounds like that, but it's I think we write it more than we say it. We almost never say it, I don't I yeah, don't think. I, we don't say it, but it's it's always written. But it's like in on, texts or emails or whatever. We thanked the rents for their undying covers. tolerance. Tolerance? Yeah. Is that right? In pipe down? Yeah, tolerance. Undying tolerance? Their undying tolerance. <laughs> Special thanks to the rents for their undying Yeah. yeah. Um, now, did we but, put an apostrophe in that? I think so. just capitalize it. I think it was an apostrophe, but you might have to look into that one. But grandparents, I didn't know that there were different names for grandparents until I was much older. But Or aunts and uncles. For our aunts and uncles, it's aunt, first name, uncle, first name. For grandparents, it's uh, grandma, last name, grandpa, last name. I've come to find that that's a lot rarer than, than I used to think. It's, you know, you know they, they call them Pop Pop or... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Or you know Nana, or you know there, there's some kind of other name, but um, or even Grandma first name I've heard, Grandma Betty, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Grandma and Grandpa followed by last name is surprisingly rare. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, and Nana I always thought was just kind of a weird thing, but it seems like Nana is actually fairly common. Oma and Opa, or various like cultural kind of things. I think, uh, I think my Brian, yours, and my father is being becoming known as maybe Papa for Tori. Like that, that's going to be his name. Really, I'm not sure about that. I'm I don't sure. know how comfortable I am with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, or I, I don't know. You would have to ask them. I don't really pay too much attention, but I mean, Tori doesn't call them anything really but yeah um and i think we i don't have much else for um people names so we're on to (laughs) item names segment number two (laughs) no but i only have four lines written down and we briefly i think during the break talked about um cars a lot of people name their cars or their ships things I've never been too big into naming my cars. I have the USS Mobile Mart, which is our van. And that's just because uh, when I drove that home, uh, I forget the exact details, but I was driving the new van, and Cindy was driving um, the tracker, and we both filled up at gas at Plum Grove and Golf Road. Or is it Plum Grove and Golf? Plum Grove and Schaumburg, probably. And, you know, we were on either side of the gas pump, and, you know, she was on one side and I was on the other side. And I took a picture of the symmetrical thing with our two cars. And on the left side of the building behind it, it said mobile service behind Cindy's tracker. And behind the van, it said mobile mart. And it was a mobile gas station. I don't know. I just thought that kind of looked cool in the picture. And I have that picture printed and in the van. And I just thought I'd call it the mobile mart. I don't know if I really like the name, but it's... that's. <laughs> I don't even know if we call the van the Mobile Mart, but that is what it's called, and it is in big letters on the left side. <laughs> Good story, man. Thank you, thank you. And then I have the Project Paseo, for obvious reasons. And uh, I think that's it for my cars. Does anyone else name their cars? I think you really need to be into cars to name your car. Like, you really... you got to give it a girl's If you name. give it... Right, like Bessie. <laughs> I was going to say... Or Lucy. 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 I was literally thinking Betsy. Betsy. No, no, no. Old Bessie Lou. Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> Cassandra. Ugh. Oh, across the street. Um. Wait, no, he didn't name it anything. But Mike Vanna was dating a Karen, and there's a LeBaron, so it was called Karen's LeBaron. If you actually name, like, and take pride in that name for your car, you are someone who... Washes it constantly, you know, takes it to uh, car museums, 
you know every you know just mm-hmm. to, just to show it off at people. Yeah, I mean you're really really proud of in that car, you know. In my opinion, okay, I'm not proud of my vehicle enough to give it a name. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't deserve a name, especially yeah. with all the problems. It, you know, gets, yeah, and, so. and I'm, you know, we can't afford anything but older cars. Lately, so I'm, I have the feeling we're going to go through cars so quickly, it's just not going to be worth naming them. Exactly. In a year or two, they're gone, and you're going to have to think of a new one. It's not worth it. It's transportation. But uh, musical instruments... Gets you from A to somewhere in between A and B. <laughs> a to was the, A Was the half. Bonneville ever called anything other than the boat? <laughs> Bonnie's Bonneville? Or the Bonneville? Bonnie's Bonneville! Bonnie, the Bonneville? Yeah, I think we called it the Bonneville, but that's probably about it. Kind of like... That could be a band name. Cat. Bonnie's Bonneville. I'm liking it. Sounds like a restaurant. Bonnie's Bonneville. Ooh, Bonnie's it does. Diner. It does. A 50s diner. Fitties diner. Fitties. Fitty. That, that's not consistent with the <laughs> 50s theme. That's true. My, my Hyundai Sonata, I just lovingly called the Nata. <laughs> the Nata. Fitty the Sense Diner. The Apostrophe Nata. The Apostrophe Nata. Yeah, that is caught on, I think, whenever I see... A sonata, I think. It's a nata. <laughs> Although and it's you have really to say it proper. It's it a, is a nada. Is a nada. Although it's actually nata because it's not Brian's, but the the not word is caught on. It's not a nada. Is it's it? a sonata. It's a sonata, not a nada. Okay, this needs to stop. All right. Well. <laughs> on the editing wheel, I will work my magic. <laughs> Don't edit anything, okay? No, it's going to be raw. Everything, they're going to hear everything, except the breaks, which is when we talk about the really good stuff. But <laughs> Brian has instruments. Brian has guitars and guitar amps. He's had two classic, two, uh, you know, main guitars, as as I would, you know, from what I remember. And those are, well, why don't you name them, Brian? Stickered guitar and studio guitar. Stickered guitar came first. Which, again, I'm, I feel like I'm insulting them by calling them that. <laughs> like, those aren't loving They're more names. descriptions. Those are just titles, yeah. And the studio guitar was always the one that sounded worse and that I never used in the studio. But okay, that was going to be the idea. I can never it. remember this. I, I always think of stickered guitar uh, as the one that you think sounds better. Even though it looks worse, I think that you think it sounds better. Stick it's guitar. A, it's a um, it's the American and the studio guitar is a Mexican and But and then I always I always the sticker guitar is just a nicer guitar and I just I like it better. Stickered guitars. <laughs> I always it sounds better and think it's better made and that that's what I think, but it's actually wrong. And you actually say that studio guitar is better even though it shouldn't. Studio be. guitar looks classier. Yeah, I know it looks but classy. Worse. <laughs> Although now, since I got, I put a new pickup in it, a P90, which is the same as the Les Paul Juniors, <laughs> um, because I couldn't afford my real Les Paul Junior, so I just got the pickup. Um, so now it actually sounds pretty good. It's a little brighter and cleaner and clearer now than my other one with the humbucker oh. pickup in it. A little, a little more distortion, not quite as clear. Um, so now studio guitar might actually sound better, um, but it's still just not as nice of a guitar because it's it's just a cheaper Mexican made guitar. And then you have you have some uh, names for your many Marshall amplifiers. <laughs> and now I have one more Marshall amplifier. So now I've got like six Marshall logos. <laughs> I think amps and cabs total. You're gonna have to run through the list there. <laughs> So the original, the one and only, was Punch and Crunch. Um, and I, we, do you re- remember the, uh, well, first of all, I, I think you were there. I remember like being in, you know, my studio or your old bedroom at the time and you being there when we were coming up with the name Punch and Crunch and thinking it was really funny. <laughs> Just talking about like punchy, crunchy guitar sounds. Yeah. It and sounds, I don't remember it sounds exactly crunchy. where it came from. But. It sounds crunchy. I mean, I just remember those being good words to describe how it sounds. And <laughs> punch and crunch is very funny. And then do you remember, like, taking the, you know, the, the amp, amp part, like the 
you know, the head, if you will, and like, you know, flipping it around and doing that whole project, getting the white, the the piece of wood that was white and writing punch and crunch, punch and crunch on it and basically, and I don't know if I re- in the front and cutting it out and doing that whole process. I don't really remember all the details. I have a, a general image of us doing that. And dad had to cut like the little angle into it so that it could fit in there. And then that ended up just being too annoying, having to go around to the back of the amp to do anything with the controls. But So now the little white thing is just on my wall in my bedroom right now that says punch and crunch. Punch and crunch. So it's punch and crunch in name only, not in you know, a title written on it anymore. Um, then came, well, I guess then came the the solid state, no tube, Marshall half step with the head in the cab. And the cab is still around, but it's just sitting in the back room of the church. Not just, the idea is we can put better speakers in it <clears throat> and make it a usable cab. But that also comes. And then I sold the head because it did not sound good, and I shouldn't have bought it. Um, <laughs> and then I got the all-tube Vlad, and I took off the Marshall logo, and I put Velcro on. This was my big project for, like, two weeks. I know how to get it to save Vlad. So I bought a V, an L, an A, and a D wooden letters from Hobby Lobby, and they came in packs of four, each one. So I had four different colors to paint them, and I put Velcro on the back of them, and... Um, and the other side of the Velcro, like glued it to the front of Vlad, and I cut them out so that like they were shaped like the letters, so I could just stick them on there. So I have four intercha- interchangeable Vlad. Um, side, whatever you want to call it, to put on it. Um, what were the four? It was three different colors, and then natural wood stain. Yeah, yeah, just kind of yeah, stained it. They were all wood, but kind of a cheap-looking wood, and so I just stained it with the wood. I have red. I have kind of silverish the wood, and then a nice teal, a which nice is my teal. color. Or teal green metallic, if you want to be <clears throat> specific, is my color. Um, and then the dream cab came, which you were a part of the the picking of. That's right. So the selection. We drove a lot. Back and forth. From I think of the motorcycle. I think so, yeah. Back and forth from Pretty Samuel sure. L. Asks and Guitar Centers. Um, Which one did you end up buying that at? Uh, Sam Ash, wasn't it? Guitar Center had the, the Mesa in that little room. And then, yeah, we went, I think it was just like the Sam Ash. The one in, whatever, Lom- there's Lombard and there's... Lombardish. Uh, what was it? The Villa Park Lombard whatever. Yeah, it was it was the one, not you know, whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever. So you know. said Vlad the Impaler, right? Oh, yeah. Vla- I, hadn't, I hadn't said that yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the name came from the guy Vlad the Impaler, which I just thought was a kind of horrifyingly dis- <laughs> accurate and descriptive name of that gentleman from the Middle Ages. And I'd never heard of him until, like, I don't know, within probably a few months or a year or whatever of getting Vlad. And so when I heard that name, I just thought, else the name Vlad is just really it's bold. And it's just really cool. Um, and so then I just wanted to name my amp that I was considering getting at the time and what whatever amp I got I was going to name it Vlad and that's what ended up happening and then Cora was the one that came up with the name the <laughs> the exceedingly clever Vlad the Ampaler Vlad the Ampaler Ampaler um which yeah like looking back it's like how did I not think of that but because that's so clever that's so good um but he's just Vlad Vlad. Full name Ampiller, but just Vlad. And then we have to wrap up this segment in just about 30 seconds here. But you have one more thing. Or no, you have two more now. You know what? Maybe we'll bring... It's just uh, two more things. So maybe we'll bring that over to the next side of the break. 
But uh, we will hear. And then I think we're going to be wrapping up pretty quick since it's 1045 <laughs> in the p.m. But uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 